it's just so green, isn't it? Calculus with analytic geometry. This one is by Nathan O'Niles and George E. Haborak. Prentice Hall series in technical mathematics. Yeah, this is a, an older book. I'm just gonna give it a whiff. Oh, this, this smells really, really good. And, and certain parts smell better, um, like certain pages, you know. Let's take a look at the inside of this book. In this video, we're gonna take a look at this book and see what it contains. So this is the second edition. Calculus with Analytic Geometry. Nathan O'Niles, Associate Professor of Mathematics, retired U.S. Naval Academy, and George E. Habrock, Professor of Mathematics and Vice President for Student Affairs, College of Charleston. Cool. Let's check the copyright. So copyright 82 and 71. So there was some considerable time uh, between the two editions. And here are the contents. Let's see what this book actually contains. So some preliminaries, the derivative. So basic Calc 1 stuff, right, so far. Then we have some applications of the derivative, differentials and antiderivatives. The integral, some applications of the definite integral. So far, all calc stuff, algebraic functions, exponential and logarithmic functions. I mean, it is a calculus book, <laughs> trigonometric functions. But there's other stuff in here. I've seen other stuff in here that's not calculus. Inverse trigonometric functions, more integration, conic sections. Okay, but that leads us to more calculus. You've got some differential equations in here, which is pretty cool. Functions of two variables and partial differentiation repeated integration, and then infinite series, and then Fourier series, so that's not something you see in every calculus book out there. And there's an appendix, completing the square, and the method of least squares are included in the appendices. You also have answers to problems and odd numbered exercises. Let, let's go to 553 right now, so you can see, those are the integrals, starts here. It says here, answers are given, let's read this. I like how it explains it. Answers are given for all of the problems following illustrative examples, okay. And for odd numbered exercises at the end of each section. For exercises containing lettered parts, yeah, the answers are given for parts A, C, E. Right, answers to some of the exercises are intentionally omitted. The figures which illustrate and solve certain problems and exercises are grouped on various pages of this section. They may not be drawn to scale, but the basic shape is indicated. Yeah, they did a good job with this book. Really, really good. It's really a great book for learning. I've done some problems from this book. It's, it's good. It's a good book. And you can check your work and stuff. This copy in particular, though, just... I don't know how hard this book is to get. I will leave links in the description. But you can see that you can read through this and learn calculus. Let me just show you some of the sections so you can see... Like, let's go to, here we go, integrals of trigonometric functions. Well, someone was doing some work here in the book. So it goes through, gives you examples. You see, find the integral of cosine of 8x plus 5. That's pretty easy. And then example two. We've got some more stuff here. And look at these exercises. So they range from easy to harder. I would say that the exercises in this book are, so in certain sections, they're easier than the exercises uh, in a book like Stewart's or Larson's. Like, sure, there's a lot of variety here, but you'll find some harder problems re regarding integration in those books, I think. However, there are, I mean, there are some harder things here. Group C, yeah, I mean, you do have some harder stuff here too, so, yeah. I, I just feel like when it comes to like these types of problems, you can find some harder ones like these, not necessarily you, know, you, you get, perhaps you get more integration techniques in some of the uh, newer books or some more unique problems. Whereas this has different material, right? I'm seeing a lot of applications. Uh, it's got Fourier series. So yeah, different books, different topics. Not all books are created equal. One more whiff here. Ah, smells amazing. Yeah, anyways, keep doing mathematics.